It's really happening. That's a great hold yeah. from Michael Murray. He is off. Get back to neutral, but he's actually getting pretty close to the baseline again yeah. very quickly instead of hanging around back there, which in the past he would do a lot of. <laughs> That's what you're talking about, sneaking in. Yeah, nice. You go, clearly, Here's Draper's a warrior. Uh, I think that maybe has changed in the last few years. People were wearing some color, which is fun. I think pink is power today for Draper. And different things we're seeing at the U.S. Open this year. Some companies taking some chances, and uh, I'm here for it. It's fun. It's, it's, yeah. it's tennis, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's fine. See how far back Mo was. Almost out of the picture. Did he have his back scraping on the chase <laughs> sign there? <laughs> well, no chance to drop and track that great drop shot down. A little half folly. That's what you're looking for. This is a nice play, and into the backhand side, that's the weaker side of Draper. You see that great speed from Mo. He was right on top of the net to make this volley. If it got any lower, that could have been pretty tricky. Oh, oh touch and go there from Mo. I'm pretty impressed, actually, for plunging into this ball. Could have paid the price for this one. That was an interesting choice of shot. But covered it well. I think you want them on your side. <laughs> oh, uh, nice time for the big serve. A little bit of extra spin on it. Smart to go behind his opponent there on that approach shot. That approach shot taken up the yes. line. from Jack Draper. You like that one? Yeah. It's a pretty good shot. Oh, well, unbelievable. Come up with that. Really well disguised on this. It's, it wasn't even really a drop shot. Sort of just shoved the ball over there. A little underspin on it. seen and not be in this entire first week. Come on, I want to check one of the...
Wow, he was almost in with the spectators there on that return. Jack pointing the finger. Come on, that can't be in. <laughs> Short delivery. You like this, though, from Mo, but doesn't do play. enough with that volley. Love that play. He's got to take it off the court, though. Good thing for Mo fans, win or lose this match, he will have his highest ranking. The, the live ranking is at least showing him at 79 in the world. So he's finally broken that top 80 mark. This shot right here, look at the depth he was able to achieve on it. It's the shot that troubled him in the first set, the backhand, too many into the net. A couple of huge points coming up. Oh. That's disappointing yeah, for yeah, yeah. Michael Moe. That is exactly why he did yeah, not yeah. want to throw in there. You think maybe he was thinking about the score a little bit. Oh, unbelievable. Some great shot making. Mo, of course, a little bit forced forward here, and he knows he didn't get enough depth there on that shovel forehand. Do you think he left that, or do you think it was just passed before? It was all, I mean, it's a squeeze no matter what, but... It, I think he... Wow, what a difference. Game driven. Ah, it's really sad news. The Brit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. completes the mission. Well, things looking pretty yeah, good. Is by four games to loss, second set. Nice play. It was just way back there. Drop shot available, didn't even have to hit it that great. And he does yeah, it with that. Second I was strictly against the coaching on court for it when it first came out, but I've sort of taken a step backward a little. I just didn't want it to be really a part of the process. It's it's health. But with that being said, there's always been signals out there and yeah. people telling you, hey, serve here or serve there or Serving volley, there's been signals. Yep. And then other coaches just ignoring it. <laughs> Serve. 
that come off that you know little app that he had there is what's been working for you michael what's what's been working in these ground stroke rallies and that's getting that First break of the match just coming in this third set. And we know he's a late bloomer. He did this against John Isner. He is ready for the long road. Yeah, look at that backhand. Just takes time away. Absolutely rips that. The way he delivers his backhand too is pretty flat. So I like it when he's getting up on the line or in front of the line because he can hit through it a little bit. Mixing it up and Jack Draper just off the boil just a little bit. Wow, he's seeing it like a basketball at the moment. Mark Mo. Need to add a little spin, maybe go into bigger spaces. I've, I've always felt like that's easier to do than to convince yourself that you're going to go big. That's go big with the ground strokes, go big with the serve in the big moments. The world and injuries aside, just injuries aside, because he's had some and that's that's been a, a major factor for him. Uh, but the tendency for him to want to grind out there is it's in mm. Do you get outplayed a little bit here in this third set? That one just nice and deep. Couldn't do much with that, Mo. His forehand. That's the change we were looking for. It's happened. <laughs> Was controlling these points and really being able to spread the court. from Draper. I four games to one for third set. And now has a leads by two sets to lock. very handy lead in this third set. Is the comeback for Michael Moe possible? Two sets to one. Two sets to lock down, but leading 4-1 in the third. back to the physios and they said it had nothing is coming in here as we just see a little change up in play here from michael mo i like that i like that too little serve and volley well, you would have done that wouldn't you you yeah, like that we get the free points with the big serves Behind him was a little bit of a new one, but this backhand approach shot, he's done it pretty well in this set. Been a little bit more offensive coming forward with the two-hander. As you see, that delivery is, it's its a... Looks like he wants to play a, a nice, quick service game here, Draper. Erase that last game where he thought he had his... Oh, no. Disappointed with himself, so good recovery here, good reset.
Phenomenal. This volley. 15 30. is the damage there into the backhand. You notice this game so far has just been a little too passive from Mo. Got away with the last one. Basically invited Draper in on that shorter ball. He really did. Game and third set more. Early in this set, it was Draper that got broken early in set number three. Great touch. Had a feeling he finished off that set much better than the way he started the set, Draper. End of the set than the, than the beginning. And that's, again, understandable after playing two high-level sets of tennis. That first set, with the first serve, I should say. Oh, really took a big cut at that. Hey. Mo. Look at that reaction from Michael Mo. You've got to love it. Does he want to win this match? Yeah, he's throwing himself into it. <laughs> that is almost a rap dance on court. <laughs> he had a very good look at that to get that in. <laughs> That's uh, the crowd reaction and the reaction from the player says it all, I think, for there. Oh, he got it. Mo willed that little drop shot over the net, but Draper had the speed to get there and do something with it. Well, this is unbelievable because when you're running in here, the general shot here is to go cross court. Now, he goes up over, so he lifts this one. Much easier just to slide that racket across and play cross court. That's not the shot Mo was expecting. That's it is easier, but it's also easier to get burned on. And if you have to hit the cross court, yeah. the whole line is open. Pretty clever for Draper. Oh, really clever. <laughs> Wow, this has turned into some unbelievable everything. The importance of these couple of games is just outstanding. Jack wants to get the break back. Interesting when you look at it, and that volley there just didn't quite execute on it, but the right idea. Hit. I had a feeling Jack was just going to blast one of the... One of these guys tries to put away the match. Uh, uh, the break uh, back. Uh, nice pass. Found an angle from way back in the court there. Yeah, good, 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 good
Yes, a nice looking drop shot here. It was clear that it was going to go for the court. And you look how low there. Look at the legs he used to get nice and low on the volley. Also on the drop shot. That's good technique. It's the kind of technique you want at 30 all. from Draper. If you're Draper. there from Mo. I felt that Draper was getting a little... That was something big. Yeah, Mo kind of just got caught in the baseline there a little bit. Couldn't quite hit through it. That heavy forehand into the backhand. It's worked for him, but not, not when Draper gets up on the baseline. That's a different story. at his best. So if you look at the rallies and who's winning the rallies, it would be much closer than that conversion. 65% of those points won at the net. from Mo. And look at this one. Where is he? I know. Boom. <laughs> he had to pick a side here. I don't yeah. know if he could really see where Mo was going to go. That's a beautiful shot. His opponent to have to finish this match off and close it out. Yeah. Game on. Wow. Yeah. that match he's only 21 years of age had an opportunity to look at that last year couldn't get it done getting that injury against Hatchinoff so perhaps get what he really deserves this year in 2023 look at that is he flying <laughs> he's taking all the energy in I think there <laughs> this is a nice turnaround for him from what happened last year and from him having injuries all year long 